What's up everybody watching on the computer, smartphone, tablet, or TV? This is Andy, and welcome back to Andy Plays. So, this episode, and maybe in the future, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to do, maybe at least the next three. I know December's going to be a jam-packed month, which you all see <laughs> coming up, but... You're seeing it right here. We're going to be playing Train Simulator World 2020 on the PlayStation 4. So, we're going to be doing journeys. So, <coughs> we're going to be doing Long Island Railroad M7 Train Fleet. For this scenario, we will be going from Penn Station to Woodside. Where another engineer will continue the journey. So thankfully, I don't have to continue on. The unfortunate thing is, we don't have the Port Washington branch here. That is the bad thing. But, the good thing is, we can do this. So, here we are, Penn Station. So I want to give you a virtual tour of uh, what happens here. So as you can see here, we're going to open the doors and give you an idea of, you know, what happens here. So again, here it's Penn Station. We have an M7 train. This is 7746. Now, an M7 is a very complicated piece of equipment because I have tried doing both Amtrak and the Long Island Railroad. And I find Amtrak to be very easy to, of course, do. So while we wait... <laughs> that's not what we want. <laughs> this is what we want. So I'm going to show you how this equipment works. So, first of all is the key on. That's what we want. We're going to turn the key on. That's the horn over here, by the way. So, what we want to do right now is we want to charge the brakes. So, obviously, this is how we do it. The key out mode, we're going to put it in forward. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the min brake here. So it sounds like more of the doors are opening, which is a good sign. So we are looking to try to charge the brakes. So it sounds like another train is leaving. So that's good. So the brake pressure on the bottom of your screen. This is what we want to do. So if that doesn't work, there's another alternative. Oh boy, we don't want that, because the thing is we don't have the brakes. Right, so we want to do max brakes. So let's see if that will make it work now. Right, so it has to be maximum brakes, otherwise we cannot get this train in operation. So I want to quickly show you around. Yeah, because I want to make it bright. I won't be able to see anything here. Dodge lights, so I guess we're going to turn them on. There we go. Marker lights are on. So let's see what else we have to check. Of course, we're going to turn headlights on. Because how are we going to see anything? Because again, I have tried this. I, I have simulated this. And it, it's not that bad. I, I have tried it. Now, if we want to turn on the wipers, this is how it works. So we can just turn it off right here, of course. Now, the catch is with the doors you have to get up. Now, of course, more equipment. We're not really going to play around with it. But again, this is our lead car, 7746. We have the e-brake here. We have the brakes on maximum. So now we're going to get up. Now, another thing I need to show you all is that we have the door control right here. So if you want to open doors, we can do two things here. So we can open it like this. Well, what happened here? Okay, so can we turn on the key? 
Looks like we can at the moment, unless I can. Okay, that's not what we want. Oh, here we go. We want that, because then we can't have the door open and we can't have the door close. More controls, nothing that much to get into, but again, this is my seat, of course, and this is what we're going to do. <laughs> I'll put it down. Because I want to at least get up when it's time to close the doors. So, coach class seat. Very important, I feel. And look, a cup holder. Just like the M9. I've never seen it on an M3, bud. Okay, so now we can shut the door. So this is how we shut the doors. We can unlock the door like this. So we have to put the key in again. So again, we have to go to the top. Okay, so I don't know what happened here. I'm trying to see why I can't put the seat up. Yeah, we are leaving a little bit late. I do apologize about that. Nothing I can do. see can I change this not what I had in mind so I keep hitting the wrong button come on turn 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 there we go so this is what we want so what we want to do right now is close the door so we close the door like this lock front lock rearward so now we have to lock the doors over here Lock doors, once again. So we're now going to go to wood side. So let's close the door. Okay. So now we're going to go to wood side. Now let's go slow. So let's announce the stops. We, this is how we announce the stops. I'm trying to make the announcement right here. Uh-oh. It's not what we want. Not what we want. So, I don't know what's going on here. Can we try it again? There we go. <laughs> so, again, this is how you acknowledge. So, let's see if the button works. Oh, this is how you do it. This is an eastbound train to Port Washington stopping at Woodside, Flushing Main Street. Murray Hill, Broadway, Auburndale, Bayside, Douglaston, Little Neck, Great Neck, and Hasn't Plain Dome in our last stop will be Port Washington. Change at Woodside for the 7 train and the Q70 select bus to LaGuardia Airports. Once again, our first stop will be Woodside. Alright, so that's how you do it. So we have to be very careful because the speed limit in the tunnel when we get to Heroin Interlocking will be 60 miles an hour. So we are going to be going towards Heroin Interlocking as we approach right here. So we're gonna put the train in coast. So we'll put the train in coast. Keep it underneath the speed limit. And of course this preserves the braking power when we get close to the Woodside station. Now normally in an engineer's car, there is a CB radio. And this is what I've learned. So it looks like we are now approaching heroin interlocking. Which, by the way, this is a very bad design. Unless this is how they designed the tunnel? I mean, that's a very bad design. No offense. Oh, there we go. See? Yeah, I noticed this game has a lot of glitches. And I've heard from people on PC the same thing does happen. I'm just going to apply some of the brakes because we're going too fast. Keep it at 50%. Thankfully, we do have enough break pressure at this point so in two miles we have to go precisely at 45 miles an hour so I do see some light are we getting close to the heroin interlock 
Okay, looks like, see again, glitches. This game is so glitchy. I noticed that. Let me, let me guys know, let me guys know in the comments. Do you have the same problems on the PS4? Because I'm noticing this a lot. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of power. We're going to keep the power to a good speed, it looks like. So, that's good on that end. <laughs> so, in two miles, we will reach our destination, Fort Washington. So, we will be approaching our final destination in that amount of time because I'm left wondering how big is this tunnel in Penn Station because this is of course the East River Tunnel and I would have to assume that we would get to here we're interlocking very shortly okay looks like there's a good sign let's hope this is the real deal this time okay good so we have now arrived at Harold interlocking so I'm assuming this is where we will have to slow down And I'll also show you something interesting. So we're going to slow down very quickly. So that way we can get an idea. That way we can put the train on coast. That's better. Okay, so now I want to show you something. So you see here, I push the D-pad down. It's not what we want. Yep, not what we want. Oh, right, here what we want. If you hit the right button down, we can actually see the train right now. So you see here, we do get close. See? So no cameras. From boom camera. So now we're going to go back to our external camera. So again, as you can see here, we are slowing down a bit. So that way I do not miss the descent towards Woodside. Now we can go 50, so I guess we can increase the throttle. So I have to go down to increase the throttle. Up would be the brake. Just letting anybody know that I am coming. There might be workers ahead. So you hear that beep. That beep means that we are approaching a signal so that's very good unfortunately this does not mean positive train control but I was able to see positive train control tested on an M9 on the Long Beach branch back in October and it's a very efficient system it does notify the engineer when to stop so that's very good <coughs> So let's see. We can go 50 miles an hour. So I would want to coast the train. There we go. So we can coast the train right here. But I don't really want to go that far. Knowing that we are on the track that leads up to Woodside. <coughs> <coughs> Do apologize. Still coming off my cold, but I do this for you guys, huh? <laughs> so we are getting closer to Woodside in a couple yards. I do see the station coming up. Now there will be a color letting us know when we do have to break. So this is why I'm afraid to go that fast. So it looks like we are approaching Woodside. Okay, good. So let's hit the brake. Uh oh, not what we want. Not what we want. We wanna we wanna go hit the brake. There we go. Excellent! All cars have platforms. Now if we are going to unlock the doors, once again, we can hit the D-pad right. Pretty sure that is the right control. Nope, not the wrong one. There we go. 
unlock both. So excellent, so we don't have to get up. Just notifying passengers that the train is in service. Okay, so now we can lock the doors. So once again, D-pad left. We'll lock the right. Lock the left. And there we go. So that's how Train Simulator works. So I think we'll do one more if it'll let me continue a journey. Let's see. Can I continue the journey? So we can free roam, which is very good, I guess. I like to continue the journey, but there is a free roam, free roam mode in this game. So you all get the idea now on how the simulator does work. Very good simulator. Again, there are some glitches, but I have not fully tried Amtrak's complete route from Newark to Penn Station. But I definitely will do that next week because that's another reason why I got this game was to, of course, try it with Amtrak. Now, there is New Jersey Transit, but that was the simulator from 2017. Okay, so it looks like we are at Woodside Station. So we now are going to go back to Penn. Okay, there we go. So I guess what we'll do now is we will have to charge the brakes. So let's make sure we can charge the brakes. Okay. Can we pull the... Won't let me pull it. That's a fail right there. Also, can I just pull the board? Oh boy, see that's a problem. I, I can't control anything right now. This is very bad. As I just do it standing. Oh boy. Our controls are not working. Look at that. That is not good. I'll try to restart this. Maybe if I restart it then it'll let me. But if the controls aren't working, I may just wrap up this video depending on how it does work. So let's see. It's a long reboot, right? Okay, so let's see what happens here. So let's see, can we get the train to work? Unless the master key... Oh, the master key wasn't on! That's where I made the oopsie. No word. Okay. Max break. Charge the brake. So I need my lights to be on. I can find them. Uh oh. Not what I had in mind. I'm not going to be able to see anything once we get to Penn Station. So I need to put the cab lights on. Okay. Let's make sure we have marker lights on gauge lights on so there we go so now people can see the train is pulling in at Penn Station so that's very good don't want to have that happen we can use wipers but again we were not going to need it in this situation so now let's go to Penn we're ready let's go put it to 50% so here we go <laughs> and we are on the move 
So again, as you can see here, we are not moving. So we are allowed to go 50 miles an hour right now. Looks like it is getting cloudy. Hope we can make it before it starts to rain. We go over the speed limit. Not a big deal. And that's how I'm going to do it. Not the end of the world, I guess, right? Because we'll get to 60 miles an hour. That's how we're going to do it. So again, we will be getting to our 60 mile an hour descent in just a second. get the train to go on minimum power. That would be a good question. Yeah, I think that would be good. There we go, see? Now we can put it back on coast. I love this horn. I right, don't don't criticize me. This again, I don't want to go that fast. That would be something I don't want to do. Right now. That wouldn't be good. We're going fast a little bit. Put the brake on. Not what we want. We want to go a little bit slow. That's good. Let's acknowledge the passengers. We are shortly arriving at our final destination, Penn Station in Midtown Manhattan. Please make sure you have all personal belongings as you exit the train. If you have any trash, please throw them out at the proper receptacle. Change here at Penn Station for the 1, 2, 3, A, C, and E line. Change at Herald Square for the B, D, F, M, N, Q, R, and W trains. Once again, final destination, Penn Station coming up. There we go. So again, we're going very fast right now. we got to slow down because the speed limit's going to be 15 miles an hour. I start braking. So that will not be a good sign if we are trying to get close. Put it in coast. So let's see what happens if we put it in coast. Again, we don't want to go too fast as we pull into Penn Station, but we get an idea here. We definitely get an idea of how uh, all things do work here. 
Can't help it. We are slowing down, but we want to go a little fast. I need to go a little bit faster. Yeah, because I'm left wondering, why aren't I going this fast? I don't care if I speed. Yet. Okay, we're getting close. Okay, slow down. Okay, let's slow down. Okay, we are slowing down. Come on, that's it. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay, here we go. Hit the brake. Alright, so... That's it. We are successfully at Pan Station. Alright, so let's just unlock the doors. So again, I'm wondering, where do you unlock the doors? Oh, here we go. <laughs> so again, we unlocked the doors. So we're going to lock both in just a second. Contact the signaler. I think you know the train's going to stop. Let's make sure we can take the key out. I can't take the key out. Ah, oh, well, it won't let us, but hey, we did a good job. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I think with that, we're going to wrap up this week's Andy Play. So thank you all very much for watching. And until the next one, please take care.